Hi, I'm Jay Andrews with Laguna Tools. Today we're gonna have a look at the new Smart Shop M2. This is the uh, newest version, and it's due to the overwhelming success of our original Smart Shop M, or Maker. It's the perfect CNC machine for shops of all types, from cabinet shops, for prototyping, or for doing a wide variety of different projects for makers around the world. It's available in a couple of different sizes. This is the 4x4. We also have a 4x8 for full-size sheets or 5x10. Let's have a look at some of the new features on the Smart Shop M2. First of all, we'll start with the frame. This is an FEA engineered frame. It is an all welded steel frame on the machine. It's heat treated and normalized, and then it's machined to accept the rack and pinion, the linear guides, and other components on the machine. The frame is now a heavier version of the earlier frame, and it more closely matches our Smart Shop 2 series machine. The next feature on the new M2 is the all steel gantry. We keep the same 12 inches of height in the previous version, but now we have a direct drive system that allows us to drive right into our constant mesh helical rack and pinion on the machine. This allows us to accelerate the machine faster and to eliminate problems you might see in lesser machines that use ball screws like ball screw whip or a sagging ball screw on longer axis. You'll come to find that the edge finish from the new steel gantry is absolutely perfect. The Smart Shop M2 features a vacuum table that is standard equipment. This is what's called a vacuum ready table that you can use either a T-slot on to clamp and fixture hard to hold items, things like slabs or whatnot, or you can do vacuum fixturing. This has been redesigned and re-engineered to accept pods, so you can go through and do pod fixturing for hardwoods and other applications, or you can lay a spoil board down and do flow through fixturing for items like sheet goods. The 4x4 machine has two zones that are controlled by the valves up in front. If you go to a 4x8 or the 5x10 machine, you'll find that there are four zones. Electrical control for the optional vacuum pumps is located conveniently on the control cabinet. Another new feature on the M2 are the brand new leveling feet as well as casters on the control cabinet. This allows you to move the cabinet around to a location that's convenient for your shop layout. The last new feature I want to introduce is improved dust collection. We've done that through a redesigned dust hood as well as an upper bracket assembly to hold your dust collection hose. That just about covers it for all the new features on the Smart Shop M2, but let's cover a few of the older features that we brought over from the previous generation. First off, this is a five and a half horsepower Italian spindle. It's an ATC or automatic tool changing spindle that uses an ISO 30 tool holder cone. It has a pneumatic retractable slider here that retracts the dust hood when you're doing a tool change and it has an eight position bed mounted tool rack for your tool holder cones. A closer look at the tool rack shows that you have positions available for eight different tools. The machine is supplied with four of the ISO 30 tool holders so that you can get started with the machine and add more as you grow. The tool touch off sensor is located adjacent to the tool holder rack and this allows you to go through and set the length for each tool and have the machine memorize those positions. When it comes time to change the tool, you can use the conveniently located tool changing rack to make the changing of the tools an absolute breeze. Now maintenance on the new M2 is a breeze. We have a centralized lubrication system that has a one pump handle. This will inject 30 weight oil from the reservoir all the way up through the spindle head and the linear guides on the side of the machine. It lubricates all three axes at the same time. Another standout feature of the M2 is a separate control cabinet. Rather than mounting the sensitive electronics of your machine on the frame, we mount them in a separate control cabinet that has fans and filtered vents so that you can keep the electronics cool and dust free to make sure that you protect your investment. The control cabinet also handles the handheld controller that's quick and convenient to use. The industrial handheld controller features a color display and it's powerful enough for a wide variety of projects from 2D to 3D. It also operates our optional fourth axis. It's simple enough for entry-level users and it's easy to master. Now to get the most out of your new Smart Shop M2 series machine, we have a number of options and high quality options are always great for your types of projects. We've got a variety of different tooling kits available. We've got different software for different types of projects and accessories like a fourth axis, misting systems, and cold guns. There are also choices when it comes to vacuum pumps. We offer two styles of pumps 
in a variety of different sizes. The two pump types are either a regenerative style pump, which is great for cabinet work and other types of projects where the parts might be larger. We also offer rotary main pumps for more challenging holding applications. As you can see, the new SmartShop M2 is perfectly suited for a wide range of different products and different types of materials from woods, plastics, composites, foam, aluminum, and other non-ferrous metals. Now that we've had a look at all the great features on the new M2, let's go ahead and fire the machine up. We already have power and air connected. We're gonna fire up the machine, home it, and then we'll do a tool touch off and a tool change. The first thing that we'll do is let the power come up. We'll go ahead and home the machine. That's all set. Let's go down and grab tool number one. Let's go ahead and load up a spoil board and get a project going on this machine. Wow, look at that edge finish. This thing sure delivers a great cut job. And now all the cutting is done for this project. I've got a little bit of finish up work to do on this, and you'll have a chance to see what this looks like in just a few moments here. Well, now we've seen the M2 in all of its glory, all the fantastic details, the controls, and watched a job being cut. We're gonna finish this up. In the meantime, if you have any questions whatsoever, look us up on the web at lagunatools.com, and don't forget to subscribe.